Hey, what's up guys? We are back with a brand new video. What today we are doing another Border Collie Vlogs episode number five. Of course, we are joined by Lachlan again. And today, guys, we're going to be showing you five of the most useful slash kind of good starter tricks you can teach your dog that will really help for the future. So, let's go ahead and jump into it. We're going to go ahead and start off with one of the most useful tricks you can use. Probably the most useful, honestly. It's just the simple sit. So, Lachlan, here. And then you're just going to kind of bring it back, lure them into a sit, there you go. It's pretty simple. I'm not going to dwell on that too long because that's a pretty simple trick, so I'll do it once more. Lock it here, spin. Alright, and sit. Good boy. You don't want to give them the command at first, you just want to use the hand motion, then eventually start saying the command. So, alright, here, one more time. Good boy, good sit. Good boy. And he knows that really easily now as well, so obviously they're not going to do it probably quite that easily if you're trying that for the first time, but basically, yeah, that's how you would lure him into it. He's not going to be the best demonstration of that because, like I said, you know, he knows it so well he doesn't even have to think. Alright, next we're going to just lure him into a down, so bring it forward and down, hop back up, ready, and there you go, good boy, good down. Good down. So, same thing, you're not going to want to give him that command until he's kind of figured it out. You just want to do the hand motion at first. So, lock him. Lock him. Hey, back. Sit. Down. Good boy. Good down. Alright, let's go ahead and start on the next one. So, make sure your dog knows these other tricks before going further on with the others that we're about to learn. Make sure he knows sit and down. So, you're going to want to lure him into either a sit or a down. I'm just going to have him in a sit for this demonstration. Then you're going to want to tell him stay. And then if he stays for about five seconds, then you're going to want to say good stay. And then okay will be his release. So good stay lets him know that he's done well. And then okay releases him. Lock him. Drop. Here. Spin. Sit. Stay. And then once he learns five seconds or so, then you can move him up to about 10 seconds for a stay. So he gets up to about 10 seconds and then you say, good stay. Okay, until eventually you can just tell him to stay and he'll stay for as long as you want him to. This is one that you really have to practice. This is one of Lachlan's best tricks because he practices every day for about four months. Main reason is I own some cattle. And so uh, every time I go down to feed the cows, I just have him sit outside the barn while I got the grain and then went to feed the cows. I tell him stay of course and then I'd come back release him and that would be like 20 minutes he'd stay every day and now he's he can stay for hours if he if I wanted him to you know he's that good so Bye. so that was trick number three that's kind of going to go hand in hand with trick number four we're gonna move on to here so what you're gonna want to do is start off with either just a short leash or a really long leash and then you're gonna kind of fishing line him in as you say here so Lachlan here and then I bring him in come on and then good here. So yeah, that's basically here. You're just gonna wanna have him on a leash for this at first. And then if he doesn't already come to you, then you're gonna wanna pull him to you with the leash, just gently. So I've got a leash and then I tell him, and if he doesn't come to you, then what you're gonna wanna do is pull him in with the leash. Lachlan, I told you, here. There you go, good boy, good here. Good boy. So, you know, if they're not already doing it, then you're gonna have to pull him in with the leash. But if not, then great. Lachlan had a really hard time learning that one originally. He was on the leash for a few weeks before he actually learned it. The other great thing about all the tricks that your dog is learning is that you can use them for future tricks as well. Each trick will probably take a few days, sometimes, or, you know, a few hours, or even a few minutes for your dog to learn, depending on the dog. The great thing about these tricks is that you can use them to learn a bunch of other tricks, and, uh, like the sit, you know, I can use that for the sit stay and you know other kind of tricks like that once they learn them it'll be it'll be really useful for future tricks yeah don't get frustrated it will take a little bit of time probably uh but it's definitely worth it all right so the last trick we're going to move on to is the paw slash nose touch so lachlan here sit so what you're going to want to do is you're going to have like a little almost object that they can hit with their paw so i had a little red target for them like a little plastic red circle and I had him use that as his target. 
Uh, you can use whatever you want. You can use it. Just make sure they know that's the target. So I'm just going to use his treat bag as the target here. So you're going to bring it up to their paw. And Border Collies love to hit things with their paw, including my face and basically everything. So they're going to be really naturally good at this. But if your dog isn't a dog that uses its paw as much and it doesn't even you know, know what to do, like it doesn't even think about touching it, then you're going to have to put it on there manually. So I'm going to grab your paw, put it on there, tell them good paw touch. Good paw touch. And then until they figure out they can touch it on their own. So there you go. Good boy. Eventually, you can teach him left and right paw touch. I've taught him that already. Right paw. Good boy. Lachlan, left paw. Good boy. So they'll eventually learn that, but you don't want to start that off at first. You can just do normal paw touch. Okay, here. Spin, sit. And you're probably not going to want to use your treat bag as well as the target because obviously they might be a little distracted by that, but Lachlan is apparently fine with it. So the next thing you're going to want to move on is to nose touch. You're going to want to put it up to their nose, and if they don't naturally touch it with their nose, you're going to want to have to, you know, touch their nose with it, then tell them good nose touch. But if they do do it naturally, just, you know, tell them good nose touch when they do it. Good nose touch. And same with the paw touch. You're going to want to tell them good paw touch if they touch it. So, good boy. And eventually, you'll evolve this into your hand. So, sit. Lachlan, paw touch. Good boy, good paw touch. Good boy. You're gonna wanna use your palm for the paw touch and the back of your hand for the nose touch. So, nose touch, nose touch. Good boy, good nose touch. So those are the five simple tricks. I hope this was really helpful for you guys. Hope you did a good job of explaining it. If you have any questions whatsoever for us down in the comments about training or just anything about the series or Lachlan, please let us know down in the comments. But that is it for me and Lachlan this video. We will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Good boy. Oh, you're a good boy.